Thank you very much for joining us today on Your Next Level Mastermind. This is episode number 50, halfway to the century. And our topic for the day is what's been your experience with stinking thinking? All right. And I'm looking forward to hearing what you've got to say about that. But before we do do that, we've got some wonderful people here who are going to share just a minute of their valuable time telling you how you can go about improving whatever you do. And I would strongly recommend those who are watching to check the links. If you're, if you're watching this on replay, for example, on YouTube, the links for each of these awesome contributors are in the description box. Please make sure you click them and use them because they're there waiting to help you. All right. So with that in mind, let's get started. And the first of the one minute promotions, John Allen, followed by Fred Gillen. Hi, everyone. My name is John Allen from Allen Small Business Coaching. What I do once is I help professionals and service-based business owners whose marketing and advertising isn't giving them the results they want by showing them what they can do, the small changes they can make so they can have the business of their dreams. A lot of times you have to look at your message, your market, and your media. If you don't have those three in the right going to the right place, you're not going to get anything. So again, think of your message, your market, and your media, and that'll help your business grow dramatically. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, John. The three M's, eh? Well done. Fred, over to you. But before we do that, I just want to congratulate you publicly for a really good network session you ran today. I think your facilitation and leadership skills and your ability to get the, the group to express themselves. <coughs> awesome. and I want to congratulate you for that. It was a really good job. And for those people who are not sure what the heck we're talking about, please take up the opportunity to join. And, and Fred, with your permission, I, I'd like you to make sure you put the link to that networking group in the, in the, in the, uh, in the stuff. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. I think you've taken up my two minutes or minute, whatever it was. I don't need to say anything now. <laughs> oh, I'll send you an invoice. Don't worry. <laughs> Fred Gillen, followed by Carol Davies. Thanks, Peter. Um, my name's Fred Gillen. I run a digital agency in Melbourne, uh, but I serve as all the English-speaking continents and cities and towns, and I help business with their marketing, uh, online marketing. So I, the bus my business is called More Marketing Ideas, and that's what I do. I give business more marketing ideas. But I do it by helping them with all the tech stuff. So whether that's organizing their websites, organizing their Google My Business page, organizing their email marketing, organizing their SMS marketing, any kind of campaigns, whatever they want to organize, I do the tech stuff at the back end. Um, so if you want help in that area, um, then feel free to reach out. My contacts will be in the chat and also on the link. But the other thing Peter was talking about was what you see behind me is the 2022 community uh, and it's a, a paid networking group and unfortunately it's rather expensive the fee is twenty dollars and 22 cents so that's what it costs to join you get access to networking meetings um, a repository of information building weekly and i think i'm just about up for time but uh, we'll probably talk later and you can scan my qr code to learn more thank you very much fred by the way i've got three appointments already how about that? Carol Davies, followed by Penny Kennedy. Morning, everyone. It's great to see everyone. The first, uh, one of the first meetings in 2022. My name's Carol Davies, and I'm located in London, Ontario, Canada. I'm actually pretty near John Allen, about 30 miles from him. So we've got the same snow to look out on right now. Um, my company is the Passion Motivator Coaching Company, and I work with uh, stressed and busy women entrepreneurs who are um, looking to find a way to get their life back in balance and have a reason to be able to get up in the morning and just feel happy and really just ready to go and just so much um, 
in tune with their life and business because when people come to me, usually they're pretty much um, off center, off balance. And I've been that way myself. And I'd, I'd really love to see other people get their lives in order. So today I'm looking for people to um, look at my um, free giveaway. I'll be putting the link in the um, comments and I just really hope that everyone has a splendidly happy and just peaceful day. Thank you, Carol. What a lovely thought. Thank you very much indeed. Penny Kennedy, followed by Yvonne Jones. Good day, everyone. My name is Penny Kennedy. I am associated with the company Modare. What I do is I help people achieve their goals and in health and wellness and financial. I also help them earn free everyday products like laundry soap or shampoo and conditioner. I mean, how do you beat free, right? We all use it. Uh, why I do what I do is because I'm very passionate with people. I love to see them succeed. And I am located in Saskatchewan, Canada. And this week I am just looking to connect, connect with you and see what you're doing. Where, do, where are you from? What's going on in the world? Thanks, Peter. Thank you, Penny. I guess there's not much difference in the temperature at your place between where you are and the Arctic. Is that right? <laughs> not much, no. <laughs> there was only four degrees, actually. <laughs> Unbelievable. Wow. Yvonne Jones, followed by Pat Dreyer. Good morning, everyone. I am Yvonne A. Jones. I'm your business world strategist. And the name of my business, the official name is My Success Circle Marketing. What I do is I help businesses, corporations, and individuals grow by retaining their customers and retaining their employees if they have employees. And why I do this? Because business growth is important to me. I want, this is why I'm in business because I want to help other businesses grow. And I do this because I have benefited from training that has helped me to grow my business over the years. I'm located in Central Florida, but I do business worldwide. And this week I'm looking for guests for my everyday passion show. So far I have um, Sandy coming up, I've interviewed John. There are other members of this community that I've interviewed as well. And I also want to add, invite you to check out my affordable hybrid membership group, group coaching program. And I will put the link in the chat. Thank you, Peter. Thank you very much, Yvonne. Pat Dreyer, followed by Jai. Thank you, Peter. Hey, everybody, I'm Pat Dreyer, and I'm in network marketing with My Daily Choice. And I show people how to attain freedom through residual income, and we offer a turnkey business that you can start for free and actually start earning a check as early as next Thursday. Now, why do I do it? There's a lot of people out there that are struggling. They're just looking for change in their life, and they want more time with their family and friends and more money to do what they want to do. And I'm here to show them how to do it. So I'm in Phoenix, Arizona, but we have both physical and digital products and we serve most areas of the world. So if you can do me a huge personal favor, and what I need this week, I'm always looking for people who want or need change in their life. And if you know anyone who wants to learn how to make an extra $600 on up to a six figure income, then just send them my way and we'll teach them everything they need to know. Thank you, Peter. Thank you very much, Pat. And it's good to see you looking healthy again. Uh, I was thank worried you. about you. Well, glad to see you out of the hospital. Mm. Oh, yeah, don't bring that up. <laughs> Jai, Jai Jagani, followed by Sandy Murray. Over to you, Jai. Yeah, sure. Uh, my name is Jay uh, Chigani, and I am a business strategist. So what I do is I... I have a set of clients who I kind of like help to structure their businesses. They will come to me with problems with their sales funnels or like uh, why the business is not converting, various different things, help to put the content together and structure um, and give them basic strategies so that they can scale up their businesses. And um, I'm really here to just connect with new people and just to kind of like um, learn from you all. 
So I will just put my link. I will just put my link and my personal contacts in the um, chat itself. And um, uh, thank you, um, thank you, Peter, for connecting me here. My pleasure. Okay. And for everyone, please make sure you put whatever links you want in there. You're not restricted to one. You can put whatever you want in there because I'll make sure they all are used up for you. Okay, that's part of my service to you. So thank you very much, Jai. Sandy Murray, followed by Jeff Beal. Uh, good day, everybody. Uh, my business is actually helping people start an online business, and really it relates to affiliate marketing. Anybody that wants uh, some kind of guidance if they're interested in doing affiliate marketing, and essentially I become their coach. Uh, but I've also in this year moved to creating courseware because the name of my company is training, marketing and networking. So when it comes to training, I thought, well, I, I say training, but uh, I haven't been doing it to the extent I want. So I'm into creating courses now and I have a free offer right now, and also I'll be selling other courses online. So that's my goal for uh, 2022. And I live in Canada. I'm in Richmond Hill, Ontario. And uh, that's about it. Have a great one. And this week, what you're looking for? Anyone in particular, Sandy? Uh, just anybody uh, interested in affiliate marketing or starting an online business. Okay. Thank you, Sandy. <clears throat> Jeffrey, Jeff Veal, followed by Anthony Pacelli. Hello, everybody. My name is Jeff Veal. The company's name is thebusinessgurus.com.au. What we do, we do digital marketing um, virtually every English-speaking country in the world. We have a team of 28 here. On top of that, I have a dream team I've built up over many, many years of 10 professionals in their industries. Think SEO, LinkedIn, email marketing, live chat, etc. Uh, why do I do it? I'm passionate about marketing and I love helping people to grow their business and scale up. Uh, location, we're based here at Manila in the Philippines. As I said earlier, we service the whole world. This week, I'm looking for people who want to learn how to use LinkedIn to fill up their calendar and make more sales. Thanks very much, Peter. Thank you, Jeff. And also thank you for the incredible conversation we had on Sunday. I no, mean, you're most, most welcome. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Yeah, really, I mean, for, for those who aren't aware of it, this guy's been there and done that, and he's got, an, he's got a story for every occasion, and I, I truly enjoyed it. So thank you, Jeff. All right, Anthony Pacelli or Santa Claus, whichever one I'm going to call you today, whichever one you want. <laughs> Okay. By, Does and I anyone... apologize in advance, Yogesh, you're going to follow Santa Claus and you'll see why in a minute. <laughs> well, hello everyone and I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas and a very happy new year. We're hoping that everybody has a very prosperous new year this year. Does everyone ever wonder what Santa does in the off-season? Well, I'm not just there tinkering with toys and stuff. I'm actually in the 21st century. And what I'm doing is I found something I'm extremely excited about. I'm in the crypto world, okay? <clears throat> I'm an affiliate in a private crypto community that's growing exponentially. We're over a million strong and have created a billion dollars in memberships in the past 24 months. I'm looking for like-minded people okay who are sick and tired of being sick and tired and looking for a passive way of creating a secondary stream of income and and and, and that can lead to financial freedom so i love people i'm a servant i'm here to serve others and want to help them all maintain their dreams attain their dreams yeah the, the community that i serve is on six continents and we're still waiting for antarctica <laughs> and to find out more to shoot me an email it'll be in the chat or um, reach out to me on Facebook, and I'd love to sit down and chat with you about this. Thank you, thank you Santa. Anthony, thank you very much indeed. Yogesh, welcome to your first session with us. I'm delighted and excited to have you along, followed by Ashton. Hi, everyone. I'm Yogesh Kapoor, and my company name is The Art of Speaking Academy, which I have rebranded to The Art of Skills Academy, but not officially yet. 
Uh, what I do, I, I have an online academy where children learn 21st century skills. Why I do it is because I believe the education system is very flawed and children need to learn skills which help them in mindfulness and their future. For example, coding, chess, art, painting, just to name a few. Um, who do I serve? I'm based in Jakarta, Indonesia, but I serve anybody who wants to learn, any, any children who want to learn online. And uh, this week, I'm just looking to network with like-minded individuals. Jagish, can I ask a simple question? Yes. When you, when, I mean, I love the idea that you've got children as a, as a marketplace. Any particular children, any type of children, uh, any age group in particular? Oh, so we go from like five-year-olds up. Okay. And do they have to be English-speaking or non-English-speaking? Uh, English speaking. English speaking. For now. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Yogesh. Very much indeed. I had many enjoyable visits to Jakarta. I'm going to talk about that one day. Ashwin, nice to see you Hello. again. Hello. Followed good by to Pat Kern. Uh, Peter, good to see you back out of the hospital. Thank you, my man. Yes. Well, what I do, I'm located in Canada, Richmond Hill, Sandy Mary. I get rid of your business fears that keeps you awake at night. Specifically, I help a small businesses with their marketing issues, whether it's offline, digital, or online, either one. And basically, I create customized marketing systems for a small businesses that affordably provide an above. And right now, we are focusing on chiropractors. We are building a landing page right now in, in progress with another friend who is in digital marketing. So, but we help any small businesses to get rid of your worst fears. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ashwin. Pat Kern. Over to you, my man. Morning to you, Peter, and everybody here. My name is uh, Patrick Kern. I'm from Bellingham, Washington. Just up the road from Pat Dreyer. Uh, what I do... Oh, okay. I'm all mixed up here. That's all good. The company I work for is My Daily Choice, the House of Brands. Here we have eight different brands, maybe more, to serve everybody with. You can pick a brand and run with it. It doesn't matter what it is. It's all good stuff. I've tried it all. It's not for the cosmetic side yet. Man, I'm, I'm getting that way. Nah. And I like to help people to pick a brand run with it and do what they can to help them make a little bit more income in this world. I am looking for people who wants to make a little bit more money for themselves and get out of the uh, rat, rat race of a, a nine to five job, ever what that is. Thank you. Thank you very much, Pat. Let me stop sharing the screen. Okay, our topic for the day. What's been your experiences with stinking thinking? Do not a volunteer to start. Okay, Sorry, Pat Dreyer. Uh, your, your experience with what? Your experiences with stinking thinking. You know, all those wonderful thoughts you have. <laughs> Once that hold you back. If you're not sure what the term means, I mean, it's not my term, by the way. It means negative thinking. Oh, that's another way of looking yeah, at it, right? But that, I don't want to. I don't want to sort of change people's thoughts. So, Pat, over to you to start with. What's your experiences with stinking thinking? We all have it. That's my experience with it. <laughs> we sure we all have it, <laughs> right? We do. That's what holds holds us back, right? Uh, it's all the self doubt. It's all the I'm not worthy. I'm too young. I'm too old. I'm I'm not yeah. smart enough. I'm not like him or her. Uh, I could never do that. I mean, it's just all those thoughts that go through your head. It's our baggage. It's our current belief system of who we are. And it's really, we start thinking about what we can and we can't do. And, and we, we kind of pigeonhole ourselves because we have an excuse for everything. Well, I'm here to tell you that whatever your excuse is, I can point to someone else who's a million dollar earner and had the same exact excuse. And then there's, there's tons of successful people out there that, had those bad thoughts before and so what we need to do is we just start start to think right 
And when we start to think right, everything comes together. It's all about mindset, right? And I learned a trick. And so this is my my experience with stinking thinking is is I've I've learned a trick on how to how to fix it for yourself so that you're thinking to the right side of things. Because like I say, everybody's got the excuses. Everybody holds themselves back with all those past problems they've had and, and the the old I'm not worthy is the self-doubt, all the stinking thinking that we have. So here's what you do. You recognize the thought is negative. You reject it. You openly reject it. You say, no, 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 I'm not going down that path. I've, I've been there before. And, and you replace it with a positive thought or a question. And when you say, I could never do that, you say, well, how could I do that? What if, what if I was able to do something like that? How could it work? And so the, the, the stinking thinking like we all have is, uh, is got to be replaced with good thoughts. And it's the same thing they talk about as far as, you know, you are the, the, the uh, sum of your, your five closest friends. Okay. So if you're keeping five negative friends, you're going to be a negative person, but you need to replace those people just like you need to replace your thoughts with positive thoughts. So real quick, once again, recognize the thought is negative, openly reject it and replace it with a, a, a more positive thought or a question on how you can change those things. So that's my, my experience with stinking thinking, uh, Peter, we, we all have it and it, uh, it's, it can be a nasty thing. And once we recognize it and know that we can change it though, mm. it's a choice. Pat, awesome. Thank you very much. Great contribution. Who's next? Thanks. I'll okay. go next. Oh, oh, okay. Sandy, did you want to go? Sandy, then Avon. You're, yeah, you're on mute. You're on mute, Sandy. Yeah, I'm not good at <laughs> I'm not good at reading lips. Oh, okay, good. No, I love stinking thinking because stinking thinking is the thing that moves you ahead. You, you, you know, you. We have a lot of negative thoughts. There's no doubt about that. And but here's the here's the thing I find is a good negative thought, and if you decide to change your mindset on that particular thought and think in a positive way is, I mean, it's sort of the uh, thing that just starts the process moving. So you, to me, you, you reach greater heights, but it may have started with a, a negative thought for sure. But once you move that into the positive area and change your mindset and start moving forward one step at a time, then the whole universe opens up to a whole new area and life becomes very, very exciting. So that's my thought on stinking thinking. Okay, thank you, Sandy. Yvonne? Thank you, Peter. I like um, what Sandy just said. Uh, it's, it's a great way of looking at it. Then I go back to what Pat said, which is so true that we all, well, 90, 99% of us, at some point in our lives, we get caught up in stinking thinking. It makes me think of a quote I saw, which says that tell the negative comedy that needs inside your head to sit down and shut up. Because it's all what happens between our ears. That's where it starts. And sometimes we can get into this negative thinking because of comparisons. Comparing ourselves to other people. Well. I did this and then I did this and I did this. Well, why am I not successful? And she's not, she's what, when we compare ourselves to people or what I find that when I've fallen into that, I try to stay away from that because I'm imperfect. I go there sometimes. I pull myself back because I realize I'm not comparing apples to apples. Many times it's apples to oranges. And so I have to be aware of that, that I'm only seeing certain things. I don't see everything. It's kind of like a quote that says I'm an overnight success, but it took me 20 years. That kind of thing. We don't see everything. We don't know everything. So avoid comparisons. Then there's a mindset. The idea, a mindset is a set of beliefs. Why do we feel that we, we need to be better than this or better than that? Gets back again to comparisons. Just be concerned about being better than the day, ourselves being better than the day before. 
So whenever I fall into that, I learned this a long time ago, kind of like what Pat said. It's literally like you tell yourself, cancer, cancer, forget about that thinking. And move into it, replace it with a positive thought because it's very easy to spiral down and down and down and down. So as fast as you can get rid of that negative thinking and find something positive, even if it's just a sing, sing a favorite song. For me, that helps me, that has helped me over the years, sometimes just singing the words and listening to the words of a favorite song gets me out of that negative mode that I might get into. Thanks, Yvonne. And that bit about comparison, that is one of the dangers of social media. And people fall into that trap time after time after time. Great contribution. Thanks, Yvonne. Jeff, what about you? And I want to say thank you because you gave me the topic. Uh, just bear with me, Peter. I'm just doing something. I'm multi Sorry, I'm multitasking. Uh, that's fine. I'll come back to his next. Who else to go? Oh, yes. Thanks, Pete. I'll go. All right, John. Over to you, my man. Yeah. You know, we're talking about stinking thinking. I was talking with a prospective client yesterday, and she's just a young lady. I said to her, what's the first word a child learns, a little child? No. Don't touch this. Don't do that. You know, the majority of the thoughts we get all grow and start growing up are don't touch, don't put that in your mouth, don't do, don't, 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 right? So we're inundated with negative thinking. So she was looking at me and she said, yeah, you're right. And then I shared another story. This one actually comes from Earl Nightingale years ago. He talks about the grass is greener on the other side. Farmer A gets up every morning, walks out in his farm up on the hill, drinking his coffee, admiring the sunrise, looking over at his neighbor's pastures who are much greener than his and wonder why I wish my pastures could be as green as his. On the other side, Farmer B gets up every morning. He goes out, has his coffee, standing on there looking over at Farmer A's field saying, geez, his pastures are greener than mine. I wonder what he's doing and mine be as green as his. The whole moral of the story is Everybody's pasture looks greener than ours from a distance. We have to learn to deal with it right in front of us. And again, one, one of the biggest things, and you shared it, Yvonne, business is neither good or bad out there. Business is good or bad up here. You know, that comes from Zig Ziglar. And we all look at, oh, geez, it's the economy, it's COVID, it's whatever else you want to blame. But when you stop and look at it, there's companies out there making millions of dollars. They're not being concerned by COVID or all the rest of it. They're going out and doing their thing. So don't let excuses stop you. And we're all guilty of it. I'm one of the biggest ones on it. So, you know, get out there and do your thing. And the world is our oyster. Go for it. Thanks, John. What about you, Penny? I'm listening today. Okay. Okay. Peter, I'll have a go. All right, Jeff. Um, over to you. All right. Um, hmm, where do I start? It's an interesting one. Um, guys, I've had a very ordinary month by, by my standards, and that um, uh, pisses me off and puts me in a, a funny frame of mind, but uh, I'll, I, will get out, I will get out of it. Um, one of the things I used to do, and I miss it a lot, pre-COVID, I used to go away um, somewhere every weekend. We'd, my girl and I would go to a five-star hotel or Airbnb, which is much better value, and then every month, being in the Philippines, you know, with so many different islands and places, every month we grabbed, grabbed the laptops and went away for a week, and that was my, that, you know, I was still working, that were my rewards, and we could, and it was the stimulus and the new ideas and the think people we met and the things we did was a lot of fun. Well, now I'm sort of cooped up for the last couple of years, um, and then the negative thoughts, I guess, pop in every now and again. So that's part of it. Then, then this sort of thing happens. I, you get things like, can you, can you guys see this? Yeah? Four hour work week. Yeah. yeah, well, then I think I'm a failure because I'm working 80 hours. So what am I doing wrong? You know, <laughs> but in all seriousness, um, you, you get into this life what you put into it. Uh, let, me, let me give you a few ideas here, guys. I pulled up some quotes. If you bear with me for a second, I'll just try and bring them up so I was, as well as multitasking before just bear with me okay here we go your real competition is you your competition isn't other people it's your procrastination your ego the unhealthy food that you're consuming the knowledge you neglect to learn your lack of discipline 
your distractions, your bad habits, the negative behavior that you nurture every day, and your self-doubts. So my advice to you guys is compete against that. Then moving on to the next one, invest in yourself. You can afford it, trust me. Pain doesn't just show up in our lives for no reason. It's a sign that something in our lives needs to change. Everything you grow, go through grows you. Some people cross your path and change your whole direction. And the last one, the greatest gift you can give someone is your time. Because when you give your time, you're giving a portion of your life that you'll never ever get back. So that's my thoughts on the subject, guys. Excellent. Excellent, Excellent. Jeff. Very thought provoking. Who'd like to go next? I'll go. I'll go, I'll go next. No, go ahead. Santa, you, you got it, man. Okay. <laughs> well, even Santa has negative thoughts, you know. Um, you know, it's it, it's much much more beyond than you know. Oh, I'm not going to get the toys out on time. But you know, it's it's going it, to it's it's about here. Like everyone has said, stinking thinking starts between the ears, you know. Um, and it's our thought processes, and which reminds me of uh, Henry Ford's quote. You know, if you think that you can or think that you can't, you're right. You know, if if you you know, it's it's all about what we think of ourselves. You know, stinking thinking. You know, in my voiceover world, you know, how I've done thousands of auditions, thousands, literally, and I have yet to land a job from a you know, an audition. Okay, um, I uh, you know, it, the the jobs that I have gotten that have been very lucrative have been you know my fortitude saying you know okay. I'm going to go out and reach out and I'm going to talk to this guy here. I'm going to talk to this person here. And those are the jobs in creating that relationship and then getting the work that pays well, you know. Um, <clears throat> and then, you know, it, 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 failures, you know. I, I, I run into failure all the time. You know, and then I turn it on myself. Oh, I must not be good enough. I must be doing something wrong. And that's where you turn and... Uh, Bob Proctor, who we all love, and I love very much so, says, you know, once you find something that you're good at, find a mentor, you know, and follow what they say. And that's how you keep out of the negative thoughts, because that person's already successful, and then you can follow in their steps, and they can guide you through whatever it is. Because, you know, you, you're not the first person to go through this, you know. Why reinvent the wheel? You know, every time I've tried doing that, they've all come out square. And... <laughs> It's just, you know, so I, you know, if I turn to others who've been there, uh, you know, all the corners go away. And it's, 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 it's something that's it's very beneficial. You know, look for others. Keep the positive mind thought like, like mindset like Pat has talked about. And, um, you know, because, it, 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 you know, if, if, it's, if it's meant to be, it's up to me. Thanks, Anthony. Great Thanks. advice. Pat Kern. Wow. All you, all of you, had great, great stuff on this stinking thinking, and I was, you know, I, I'm just, I'm with y'all uh, about it. Yeah, this one captain told me on a tugboat. He said, "Pat, you think you can take this tug up the Wrangell Narrows? It's very narrow. You got to go through the buoy system. You got to hit the tide just right. If you don't, you'd be on the rock pile." And I said, he said, if you're going to be a captain, you got to do it. And I had so many negative thoughts going through my head at that time about if I came up to a wrong buoy and took the wrong side, all of a sudden I put a uh, three million gallon fuel barge on the rocks. So I, what I what I did for myself, I went outside outside the bridge and went. Ah, let's do this. Let's go. And I started to put positive thoughts in the head. We can do this. It's a piece of cake. Stay in the middle. And that's what I did. Went back. And <laughs> stay, long as you stay in the middle between the two buoys, hell, you got it made. I went, this is pretty fun. But then you get on the other side of Rango Narrows, you got that tide switching. That's when it becomes very interesting. And, uh, yeah, he just, ah, just stinking thinking will, will hurt you. It will kill you. It will take you down to nothing. 
you gotta you gotta change that per diem like everybody's saying in the middle of your ears that thing up there is going to destroy you it, the brain's going to destroy you if you don't watch it you gotta like pat said like he also you got to be positive in life and that's what i i took it out of all this and what i started to apply for myself you know at an older age of being positive in life instead of being a negative person i i can be a negative person in a heartbeat i have no problem in it it's easy for me but i don't want to i like to take the challenge of being more positive to people that's a challenge thank you pat well said my man by the way one of my 10 seconds worth one of the things that i've seen often in terms of stinking thinking are people in business especially in the online business who are taking responsibility for things that they have no control over okay that is definitely a way to commit suicide in your business okay so that's my thought who's next I've got nice me okay carol well to me stinking thinking um used to be a really good friend um well, let's say a little bit way back in the past because if there could be a negative thought come that i could put myself down with i would raise my hand and say here i am and they'd say oh good we've got somewhere to go well all what i have to say is that I lived that way for a long time. Um, I was, you know, afraid to speak up, um, afraid to be noticed. I sort of kept, you know, the middle line, but I wasn't happy. And I finally thought to myself, what is going on here? Well, I found a wonderful technique or a tool. It's called um, emotional freedom technique or tapping. And it's been around for about 25 years now. Luckily, I found it uh, many years back, and I use it as one of the tools in my coaching. But it's essentially, you think, um, and it's like a couple of people have said, a lot of this negative thinking comes from your childhood. You're programmed and you have automatic thoughts. You have to start thinking when it's negative, like where's this thought coming from? And then you think of a time when you know, you had a lot of successes. I mean, you know, not all of your life you've been a failure. Think of those things that build up a repository of, you know, like, geez, I did that good and I was wonderful there. And, you know, rely on yourself. And then you sort of repeat positive affirmations to yourself and tapping on a few spots in your body. And it is amazing. It will, over time, just clear everything out. And I just love sharing this with people because it's very easy to learn. It's a sort of a self-help technique. Um, and once you know how to do it, oh, it's fantastic. So that's helped me a lot. And I love sharing that with people. Thank you, Carol. Fred, what about you, my man? Um, yeah, I'd, I'd follow on from what Carol was saying about, you know, be around positive people because obviously we always get negative thoughts. But one of the things I get out of is this group because Peter... Whenever I do anything, I get messages from you all the time, you know, with compliments and well done and appreciate me and all that kind of stuff. And that's the kind of person that you need to be around. It's people like that that, you know, just lift you up or even just carry you along, whatever it might be, rather than people that put you down. So, you know, I've made a decision years ago that uh, I'll give somebody a couple of chances, but if the, the negative attitude every time we have a conversation... I'm sorry, you know, we, we won't have coffee or we won't we won't go to the pub uh, because I just can't put up with that crap. Sorry. Thanks, Fred. Jai, you want to contribute? Oh, Ash, Ashwin, okay, over to you. Uh, you guys want to know what's the fastest way to get rid of the negative thoughts? Yes, please. Everybody, are you sure? So the fastest way is to get rich quickly. That's it. <laughs> because I have an ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I enjoy listening to everybody. I learn from you, and I had similar discussion with Sandy yesterday, actually about negative thoughts and yeah, thoughts also. I, I want to thank him also. 
Yes. Well said. Well said. Thank you. Okay. Joy, what about you, my man? Yeah. So, you know, I really like what Yvonne just said um, about comparing yourself because I've done this for many years and it's just led to self-sabotage. You just see yourself going downstream, things just keep happening. And then until and then, it was, it's only recently that I actually realized what I was doing this to myself and actually came to a process where I actually started reversing the whole thing. I mean, I don't know how it happened, but it just really happened. It just came to a click of a switch. It just really started happening. But when I actually listen to these things, I, it again brings the whole thing about and I learned some new techniques how to go about it. Like just for example, Carol shared something really interesting just now. So yeah, it just um, it's a good listening to be stuff. Jeff, you might want to mute, mate. Oh, sorry. It made me hungry too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. I'm starving. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Thank you very much, Joy. Thank you very much for that. Okay. Hey, Jeff, you got to share, man. Yogesh, what about you, my man? I'm looking forward to hearing what you've got to say. Well, I think stinking thinking is like a yin and yang, right? We all have it. Um, and I think I battle with it every day when I wake up. Um, I try to start having gratitude immediately when those thoughts start coming in, just being happy about being alive. And, you know, listening to all of you, there's so many things that popped up, memories and stuff. And I'll just share one or two. One was back in November 2020. I, I got COVID and, uh, you know, before going to bed, I was shivering and I would wake up three, four in the morning, sweating, drenched in sweat as if I took a shower. And th there came this particular one night where I was so negative and I was like, okay, why am I alive? And I'm like, my wife, she's a badass. She can take care of herself. I thought about my daughter and I was like, yeah, she's sensible like me. You know, she knows how to adjust. She's not a very demanding person. She, she was 16 back then. And, and I was like feeling as if I'm, my soul is elevating from my body. And at mm. that point, I started thinking, suddenly I thought about my son because he, he was nine back then. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. You're thinking all wrong, you know? Uh, think right, you know? You're not thinking straight. He needs you. Uh, it's too early for you to go. And at that point, I think I kind of zapped back into my body. And that made me realize that you have to have that why, you know, whenever you have that negative thought, you have to have that why that holds you and says, nope, I'm not listening to this. So that's one story I wanted to share. And the second is about my dad. I saw my father run companies all over the world and losing it all. And one fine day in 2008, I came home six in the morning and I asked him, you know, you lost everything, people betrayed you, you, you know, they cheated you, especially it was all family. Don't you get angry? Don't you want to take revenge from them? Like if I were you, I'd go kill everybody, right? Uh, and he said to me that I'm alive. He said, people lose $100,000, they get a heart attack, but I'm still alive. And what can you answer to that? And I think looking at my father, that's one thing that always makes me say whenever I'm having a low point, like, wait, he never gave up. So why are you giving up? Mm. So, you know, it's lessons learned from what they did and that helps you push forward. So I just wanted to share these two with all of you. Wow, Yogesh, thank you. I mean, that was, I really appreciate you being, sharing something from your private life like that. That takes a lot of courage. So can I share awesome. something? So I congratulate you. Very cool. Peter, can I share something? By all means. You know, this stinking thinking, you know, what I have started, what I've been doing for a lot, a lot of years, started on boat, tugboats, anyway. I wake up in the morning and go, take that big fresh of air. I turn around, put my feet on the ground, and look up and say, I'm, I'm alive again today, <laughs> upright in God's green earth. But you can say the other one too. All right. Anyone else want to contribute before we we wind it up? And I want to say thank you to all of Real you. Real quick, Peter. Real, yeah, yeah, Yogesh had it right. You know, it's it, it's it's following 
daily gratitude practices. And, and like he said, when, when you wake up, find three to 10 things that you're grateful for. Mm -hmm. And when you go to bed at night, do the same thing. But yeah. what you'll find is once you start practicing this on a daily basis, uh, you'll find times during the day that you'll, you'll see something that you, that, that just hits you. And all of a sudden your gratitude starts hitting you again. And so right Penny. And, and so when you start practicing gratitude on a, a daily basis, morning and night, you'll find yourself doing it all day long. And it does change your mindset and it does change your stinking thinking. So gratitude will help. And you'll get you were absolutely right. Thank you. Well said, Pat. Well and another said. very simple trick that, that, that I find helpful, because as, as Pat said, we all go at some point, if people, if people say they never experienced stinking thinking, they're lying, right? To themselves in particular. Everybody. But what I have found that works for me, and it's so simple, but you probably think it's not possible, but it works. I simply go out and help somebody else. That's all I do. I actually take the time to go and help somebody else. And by doing that, I take, I take my mind off what I'm thinking and focus on what I'm trying to help somebody. And it works for me. You for everybody. Peter, anybody that's else? so Peter, that's so true. I did that on that minus 52 day. I did five people's houses and stuff. And it wasn't. Yes, it was to help them, but it was more for me as well. And I didn't realize it when I was doing it, but mm. it takes your mind off things and then you come back fresher and you feel good about yourself. Yeah. And you've done good. You did. Yes. Yeah. All right. Anyone else want to contribute? I just want to go? add, I just want to add to that. Sorry. I don't know why my camera is not working. Uh, what Penny said and what you said, Peter, uh, it's, it's an incident happened to me just yesterday. Uh, mm -hmm. I was in such a negative mode uh, because I had an argument with my spouse and uh, I was walking back home and I passed this uh, Nespresso booth in the middle of the of a mall and uh, the lady there served me very well. And I and she spoke English because I don't speak the local language here. And I told her, you speak such good English and you, and you, you know, you, you're very good at the way you treat your customers and all. And, you know, she told me she was having such a horrible day. And she told me that how people treat her like that more yesterday morning, some one customer treated her very ill and shouted at her because uh, they broke the filter in the coffee machine. But it was their fault, not her fault. And even though she replaced one for them, um, they still came back shouting that like, we'll bring a lawyer, we'll do this. <laughs> and, and, you know, I told her, look, for, for like, um, for $300, nobody's going to bring a lawyer. Trust me mm -hmm. on that. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you know, I, she, I messaged her in the night and she's a, she's a lady, you know, helping her family. She has four siblings. She's looking after her. She has a food business and she lives like one hour away. So I, I messaged her in the night and I was just helping her out. And, you know, she, she almost burst into tears and she's like, you know, you made my day. So I agree with what Penny said and what you said. Sometimes, you know, when you help someone, it just turns it all around. And yes. I, I compete every year in the World Championship of Public Speaking. And this year I'm not being able to get a speech. But after talking to her yesterday, I told her today morning when I met her again in the mall, I'm like, I got my speech, you know. Uh, and you see, there's no coincidences. I'm like, I'm going to name it Coffee the speech title and my message is going to be sometimes you just have to listen so there that's all i wanted to share well said well cool. said what a way to go thank you very much Arish. okay you. well look with that in mind could you please make sure you all put your links in the chat at this point i've only seen 10 and there's a couple of people missing if you don't want it that's fine it's up to you but please make sure you do yeah. And I want to thank you and congratulate you for sharing what you did. Thank you, Jeff, for the topic, by the way. I appreciate that very much. Most, most welcome. Because this is something that can impact on any business at any time, right? A little and you as a person also in your business. So I think there's some really valuable things shared today. The, the, the other minor point of all of that, Peter, is that if you look at the negative thoughts you had 12 months ago, what, what's happened to them? Yeah, they've, good point. They've, disa they've disappeared. So why bring any more on board? Because they're going to disappear too. Good point. Well said, Fred. Well said. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your contributions. I hope you can join us same time next week, everybody. Okay. So best wishes from Thailand. And thanks again.
Thanks, Pam. Click on the Take screen. Care, everyone. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Take care, everyone. Take care, everyone. Stay positive. Thank you, everyone.